We are at the Care for Sound Symposium, uh, arranged by Lund University Sound Environment Centre in collaboration with Ecofon. And I'm standing here with Johannes Vandenberg from mm -hmm. Umeå University Hospital yes. in Sweden. And you just presented on um, neonatals and their need uh, for good sound environments. Yes. Why is it so important to create good sound environments for these little newborns? Well, uh, I think the, it, it is important because the premature infant, they have a development in brain that is not uh, fixed in their function, so stressors and high sound levels can affect that process. And also we need a good uh, sound environment for, for the staff because a lot of alarms stresses the staff and increases the risk to doing errors in, in, in the care of tiny premature infants. What kind of strategies do you use in your work to create these better sound environments? Yeah, in, in, in um, closest to the infant you need to try to find uh, things that protect the, 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 the sound from reaching the, the air. And that is, easy, that is more easily said than done. But uh, closest don't place things on top of the incubator, for instance. Speak softly, turn off alarms before you interact with the infant. Uh, keep everything close to you that you need in the care of the infant, for instance. Are there any special strategies that you can do in the building process when designing these premises? Uh, yes, uh, the room needs to be large and uh, the uh, bed spaces could be either shield off from, from each other or you can design a, a unit with single room care and sound absorbers uh, in the roof or uh, at the walls uh, are shown to have a good effect in decreasing the sound levels. But also the medical equipment need to, to have modifier, uh, modified arms. You're very interested in sound environments. Where, where does this interest come from? Well, it's uh, a little bit random. I run in this uh, sound project when I wrote a, a master thesis about sound environment in, in neonatal unit and uh, then I uh, took that knowledge with me when I work with uh, neonatal transport and try to find uh, solutions to a better sound environment for the infants during transport. During your time, has awareness among staff and, and uh Healthcare associated people. Has it, is it? Are we there yet with regards to sound environments? Do people are people aware of their impact? Yes, uh, I think so. If you ask the staff on an neonatal unit, is sound important? And uh, I'm sure they will say yes. Sound is important. But when they interact and when they are working at the unit, they might forget the importance of decreasing sound, speaking softly turning off alarms and all those small tricks that can provide a better sound environment for the staff and, and, and the infant. So there, there is an awareness and there is a knowledge, but it's still a gap to do an even better sound environment. So what can, can be done to bridge the gap, do you think? Uh, I think, uh, in, as in monk, m m many cases, uh, if we got more money, we could provide a, a project that, for instance, can make better uh, hearing protection for, for infants. Very good. Uh, we have a lot of other interviews, a oh, lot of other presentations to listen to, yep. and uh, I hope that you, that you can bring something back home from the rest of the day also. Thank you very much. For Thank you very much. To me. Thank mm -hmm. you.